thing where they're doing the candlelight since 803 have been i just got information now that they are doing tear gas i don't know is that information correct i'm not i'm not there so i don't know anybody okay so i'm live now so what's going on like can i is anybody at the venue i came to the venue i left because i left the venue around and passed it and there was no takers there was nothing it was peaceful some people were dancing outside but there was a bit of traffic and that's it and I've, I'm even still wearing my t-shirt. Relaxed. I just even had my food now. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm there. Okay, someone said I'm there. So let hey me guys, see. Can, welcome let me everybody like and thank you so much for watching. What there was no shooting. Guys? I am yeah. Yeah, so why are they not carrying room? What is the room about? Share. So I do have a quick update with regards to the mobile um, investigation and we are going to be discussing that first of all the police just released a statement <clears throat> basically saying that they have concluded the autopsy <laughs> this one has given so no, many man. people anxiety no, like this the autopsy there are so many people scratching their heads and wondering wow so fast so quick okay so and they have good reasons to feel that way as well right and hey now nigeria with the talk so right so anyways this is from punch and this is what it's saying it says the lagos state police command had said the autopsy conducted on ileorio lua aloba popularly known as mobad has concluded the police and um, relations officer benjamin Hundeyen confirmed this to Punch Metro during a telephone conversation on Thursday, which is basically today. Um, he said, autopsy has been concluded, awaiting results. Earlier on, while responding to an inquiry by our correspondents concerning arrests made by police and its connection with the late singer, Hundeyen said, I can't answer questions on the arrest. Yet, because two or three I don't have that update. People were dancing However, outside, the nurse and, but there was a piece of traffic and that's it. I can confirm and I'm, that. I'm still so my that's basically what they are saying. Relax. That the I just don't have my food now. And obviously, a lot of people so, are going to about this. <laughs> a lot of people are just thinking like, wow, I don't know. so soon. You know, and some of the people I'm that are reacting. Okay, someone said I'm there. So let me see. Can, let me go live with you. There was no shooting. Tear gas. So why are they not carrying rumor? What's the rumor about? To this, somebody in the comment says they don't, uh, them don't, um, them don't do the us of the sharp sharp. I be they know Ma, the man. results before Nigeria the autopsy. Still, does I'm still at the I can smell rigging. Uh, okay. God expose okay. everybody. I'm coming. Rig the results of okay, this. Okay, Ben. Ben Keep on hunting them. Please speak up so, um, like, your in, life I mean, so that I can see and you can talk to you us. Know, we don't know what's going on. I can yeah. Also, there are people who are thinking, oh, what's going on? You know? Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria has failed us again. My, my, my car is still there. My car is still there. Look at this. I came out. They came with their gas. I came out for my brother. For my brother, but that's what as in this is the cab mother helped me. This man. This man. He's not wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on there, please. What happened? You have to be calm so we can hear you. They fire tear gas. They fire tear gas. We don't know. We don't know where these people came from the back. From the back. Who are the people? They come from the front. We don't know them. Maybe or not people, I don't even know them. We are just seeing tear well, gas. I don't know police people there. I don't know police you know, people you know, there. All the, you know, all the police officers, they are there. They are not doing anything. They are securing us. 
And besides, like two or three police, we are there. They don't have any problem with us. Those people police we are securing us. That, that uh -huh. We don't even know where they came from. Hey, see, if you, we, we need to get, okay, you people were there. Some people were, the police were there securing you. And then some people came from the back and started training tear gas. Yes, yes. yes. In, we, 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 we were sitting in front of the toll gate at the middle, all of us. We have police, we have like four or five police around us. We have a lot of police there. So where the tear gas came from, we did not see it. We just hear the tear gas coming from the back and, and throwing, um, um, what is it called? A lot of people are there, a lot of girls are there on the floor. There's bike, cars, can, cars cannot move, you know, they park, there's traffic. And no cars can move, so it was this car, uh, airport. We just left that place out, so we're going, to, we're going to pass the back. Okay, there's there a, lot of, there's still a lot of people on the floor, they're just throwing the tear gas. It is not fake news. Mama, oh, my pain, oh, my leg. this news is real. It's not fake news. These people came from the back. We don't even know them. It is not the police. I was there. I parked. These people have face this. What were they wearing? Go, as in, they are not putting on anything. The people that are here. We don't see them. Is it, if you are, if you, if you are, if you, if you are close to them, you are going to see them. Maybe they are putting on uniform or something. But we are not close to them. Okay. We are not close. Okay, so is it only tear gas? Is it only tear gas they did? No, no, well, no, they said. Where the taggers? People are calling us after the taggers. They are shooting. But nobody can wait to even testify. Maybe the taggers are gone. I can only testify taggers. I can only testify taggers. So, as you see, she started bleeding. That she wanted to faint. I need to carry her. Because we were together. I need to carry her. People are right. As in, I'm, I'm sure that tomorrow, people will come outside and speak. A lot of people have been there's injured tonight. There. There's a lot of girls on the floor. There. I know tomorrow there. people will come out and say something. This country has failed us again. They failed us. I was expecting this, so I was expecting it. I know it's going to happen. I was expecting oh, it. Why is the light now? Why are they I throwing know. Because they don't, want, they, they don't want us youth to speak in this country. Why? We anything about anything. youth. They, they don't want to listen to us. That's the problem we are having. I'm inside the cab now. I can't so everyone should just go home. Everyone should go home. Let me call. I'll call I'm, the... I'll I'm try and call, call the police now. Let me call for, the police. For people to come and save us so that I can pick my car up. I'll be beside that movie. Opposite... Where is Please, the if there's oh. any video, you know that number? That number I put out there where they can send evidence. Yeah. If there's any yes. videos of evidence, they should send everything there. Please. Okay. okay. No problem, ma'am. Thank you. Thank yeah. you ma Please, I'm so Thank sorry. I'm so Thank sorry. You, I left because I'm a bit tired, so I left. Um, yeah, 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 I know that you came. Yeah, yeah, I know that you came, but I was like, I didn't even show you. I don't know that you left. Yeah, yeah I, I left. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. But there's a lot of people are still there. They should just look for uh, them. Let me call. Let me call. Let me call. Let me call. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. 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 Hey, my God, life. <laughs> Hello, guys, what's going on? I've left the huh? venue where they're doing the candlelight since 8 03. I've been. I just got information now that they are. Drink tear gas. I don't know. Is that information correct? It's really correct, Why my darling. Why, Why, so do do? Why did you come out so quickly? These are all valid complaints, okay? These are all valid complaints, honestly. People have every right, especially if you think about the history of our country. People have every right to kind of feel like, mm, should I believe this or should I not believe this? It's just weird, okay? Then again, maybe not a lot of people are requesting for autopsy. Maybe they, they are not busy. Maybe, you know, maybe somebody didn't die. I don't know. So maybe they had enough time on their hands and they were able to conclude the autopsy that probably would have taken some time. I just hope the governor of Lagos promised also that he was going to make sure that he was going to provide or at least assist in providing the best tech and technologies known to man okay when it comes to this um the results and this you know that's what he promised us so so let's hope that there is no career movement taking place and everything was done correctly 
the T's were crossed and their eyes were dotted. But people are questioning just how quick. Now, just today now, has it even been 12 hours since they, like, took his body out, you know? I'm minding what I say because of suppression. Um, okay, so somebody said, Now, God, I take back Una. Now, beg, I take, now God, I take back those who carry out this autopsy. Uh, tell the whole world the truth so that more can rest well. So another person says, I don't trust <coughs> all those police and the Excuse doctors me, guys. doing the OOO because they already delayed. I'm still getting and better. <laughs> uh, they already delayed and settlement has already been made in every angle. For sure, they will bring us a fake result. Ooh, Nigeria, you see on our life, police authority. <sighs> At least the Nigerian police uh, spokesperson know, and if he knows, then that means everybody in the in the, in the police um, world, the Nigerian police department, they know that the lack of trust is so telling. People don't trust anything that you guys say, anything that comes out of your mouth. I I can't even like I don't even imagine how does it make you guys feel that if you greet somebody good morning, they will go and check the time. Because they don't trust what you're telling them. How does that make you feel, Nigerian police? Look at you. Come on, autopsy. Everybody, don't they want that? Say, are you sure? I hope it's the right one. I hope you've not done it. And they, they don't trust you. They don't trust anything that comes out of the people's mouth. You know? And that must really be pathetic. So another person said, now, now, now. Mark, 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 wait. They take two days. I don't know if it takes two days oh, to conduct an autopsy. Oh. And hey, like I said, maybe... Their lab is very free and very <clears> empty. <throat> there is, like, if they are able to, like, get all the necessary equipment to conduct the, the, the test that they want to conduct, what is the point of waiting? When, you know, when, when, what's the point of waiting to announce the results when it's already there, when it's already available? I don't know. I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt, you know. I'm being cautiously optimistic. But now only God knows. This person says, uh, my way they take two days. Una mm, they play. I use God beg una no carry force reports come out. So God no go punish una beg. Anyway, so I wanted us to also go over Yabo just post. Um she gave updates with regards to the arrest and the people that are being questioned, people that are in that have been invited to return back for questioning and all of that malarkey. So let's take a listen to what she's saying. Like I already stated in the previous post, Yabo Ojo is a national treasure, okay? Her ability, her willingness, not even her ability, she <coughs> have the ability for they want. Her willingness to actually step up when the country needs her, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's so refreshing to see. In spite of all the naysayers, there will be people questioning her motive and stuff but she not she never listens she stays focused on what she wants and you know yeah i i, I applaud her she's amazing yeah bojo the cp said the body will be missing okay good names has been given and they have progress the interrogations they said um apart from the two people that we we're talking about you know um several other names has been dropped also several names has been given and they have reached out to all the parties mentioned so that means all the parties mentioned plus uh, plus uh, every name that was mentioned Mali. Um, whatever, Larry, why do I keep forgetting that guy's name? What's that? Adbaya's name. Sam Larry. You're not alone. I always forget about his name too. Maybe because he's so, he's so unmemorable. I don't know. And every other person that their name has been mentioned, they said that the parties has been, and they have reached out to them. They have been given Every month, and we're starting this soon. The chief magistrate will visit every police station in Nigeria. During the visit, the magistrate can grant bail, 
under the arraignment of a suspect or as a suspect to go home completely. However, the magistrate is also empowered to report any police officer who has breached the rights of the suspect. As a matter of fact, I'll just tell you the IG. Section 60 of the Police Act, Establishment Act, now says every police station shall have a lawyer assigned to it to monitor human rights compliance. So what is being done today? Mr. IG, Mr. Sipi, is in line, strictly in compliance with the police assessment act. So I congratulate you and I congratulate myself. I want to pledge here today that police officers here have no cause for fear. We will represent those who may file complaints against you. But if you are also reported for frivolous reason, I will also defend you. I'm happy to take advantage of my intervention here to let the IG know. By next week, sir, I am bringing to Abuja many judgments in which we have won cases for policemen and women who were dismissed illegally. Many of them, and if you must know, despite all those shakara on television, and this is not being out there. I handle more cases for policemen and soldiers in Nigeria, more than anybody. So those judgments are coming. I'm not alone. My wife has won two cases for police women in Nigeria. One of them is that if you join the police as a woman, you cannot marry for three years. My wife went to court. This is not applicable to men. And the court said yes. Women, police, women and policemen are equal before the law. The second one. A woman police, a police woman became pregnant and she was dismissed. But when went to court and said there are men, policemen, including one top one at the material that I won't mention around, who had also impregnated somebody outside wedlock. So what did this woman do? And the court said this woman shall go back to the police force. The IG. When I mention this example, bring the judgment. I will comply with it. Thank you very much. <laughs> My little brother, Olumide Akwata, one of the best president in Nigerian Bar Association, has made a pledge to do what he has done in Lagos in a drone delta. My own, the people are that one. I have pledged here to represent police, men and women, pro bono publico. I won't take money from you. <laughs> now we stand in. Since you have uh, tidied it around your home, I will also do something where I also come from. But beyond that, I will also take up a good time. So I'll be talking of about four states. Mr. I will take care of what Olu has done in three states in four states. And I don't know whether my colleague is here. By the way, this street is named after him. I will also get him to do something. The final one. I came here last week. I did not recognize this plane. I asked my driver, can you move to the next compound? Maybe they are, that's the office. You know why, sir? Simply, I didn't tell you this. 
I saw that this place has become exceptionally clean. Before you have removed those vehicles that will not be in this compound. And I will just tell him with AIG. AIG, so two. I also want to see your company like this. So, so, my brother, you have become primus inter pari. Among CPs. And that is what you have done today. I congratulate you. I have played silently, but I want to play the game now. That I am going to give you utmost support in Lagos. <laughs> Oh, you're a good guy. I've known you in the police headquarters in Abuja. Humble, polite, dedicated, completely to society. And Mr. E.G., you are lucky. Because when you were appointed, sir, somebody asked me, you didn't move the I.G. and CP in Lagos? I said, I don't know. But this one knows. I know this I.G. as a test. I know the I.G. as a test for competence. And integrity. It's not likely to move in the whole of the Lagos. So I'm very happy you are here. <laughs> Finally, IG, as you are going back to Abuja, please ensure within the next couple of months or thereabout, great answer, and ensure that this very important milestone, this very important achievement today, is replicated in the entire 36 state. And Abuja, uh, I, I have a client. He was a victim of police brutality. Police of old, not this one now. But that my client also dealt with the police. This client, I want to share his name. He was an officer to take cognizance of the Police Establishment Act 2020. Torture has become a serious offense. It now attracts 25 years in prison. Oh yes. If the suspect dies, whoever is involved will be charged with murder. As they say here, that will not be your portion. Detention Every month, and we are starting this soon, a chief magistrate will visit every police station in it. During the visit, the magistrate can grant bail under the arraignment of a suspect or as a suspect to go home complete. However, the magistrate is also empowered to report any police officer who has breached the rights of the suspect. As a matter of fact, I'll just tell you the IG. Section 60 of the Police Act, Establishment Act, now says every police station shall have a lawyer assigned to it to monitor human rights compliance. So, what is being done today? Mr. IG. Mr. Sipi is in line, strictly in compliance with the police assessment. So I congratulate you and I congratulate myself. I want to pledge here to me that police officers here have no cause for fear. We will represent those who may file complaints against you. But if you are also reported for frivolous reason, I will also defend you. I'm happy to take advantage of my intervention here to let the IG know. By next week, sir, I am bringing to Abuja many judgments in which we have won cases for policemen and women who were dismissed illegally. <laughs> Many of them, and if you must know, despite all those shakara on television, <laughs> and this is not being out there, I handle more cases for policemen and soldiers in Nigeria, more than anybody. So those judgments are coming, I do. 
I'm not alone. My wife has won two cases for police women in Nigeria. <coughs> One of them is that if you join the police as a woman, you cannot marry for three years. My wife went to court. This is not applicable to men. And the court said yes. Women, police, women and policemen are equal before the law. The second one, a woman police, a police woman became pregnant and she was dismissed. But when went to court and said there are men, policemen, including one top one at the material that I will mention around, who had also impregnated somebody outside wedlock. So what did this woman do? And the court said, this woman shall go back to the police force. <laughs> and the IG, when I mention this example, bring the judgment. I will comply with it. Thank you very much. <laughs> My little brother, Olumide Akwata, one of the best president in the Nigerian Bar Association has made a pledge to do what they have done in Lagos, in Edo and Delta. My own, the people that want to, <laughs> I have pledged here to represent police, men and women, pro bono publico. I won't take money from you. <laughs> now we stand in. Since you have uh, tidied it around your home, I will also do something where I also come from. But beyond that, I will also take up a good time. So I will be talking of about four states. Society. I will take care of what Olu has done in three states in four states. I don't know whether my colleague is here. By the way, this street is named after him. I will also get him to do something. The final one. I came here last week. I did not recognize this plane. I asked my driver, can you move to the next compound? Maybe they are, that's the office. You know why, sir? Simply, I didn't tell you this. I saw that this place had become exceptionally clean. Before you have removed those vehicles that will not be in this compound. And I was just telling you AIG. AIG, so two. I also want to see your company like this. So, so, my brother, you have become primus in the party. Among CPs. And that is what you have done today. I congratulate you. I have played silently, but I want to play the game now. That I am going to give you utmost support in Lagos. <laughs> oh, a yeah, good guy. I've known you in the police headquarters in Abuja. Humble, polite, dedicated completely to society. And Mr. E.G., you are lucky. Because when you were appointed, sir, somebody asked me, you didn't move the I.G. and sit in Lagos. I said, I don't know. But this one, I know this idea as a test. I know the idea as a test for competence and integrity. It's not likely to move in the whole of the Lego. So I'm very happy you will be here. <laughs> Finally, IG, as you are going back to Abuja, please ensure within the next couple of months or thereabout, great answer, and ensure that this very important milestone, this very important achievement today is replicated in the entire 360 and Abuja. Uh, I, I have a client. He was a victim of police brutality. Police of old, not this one now. But that my client also dealt with the police. This client, I want to share his name. <laughs> 